King of Sports. New Japan Pro Wrestling. Thanks so much for joining us here on New Japan Strong. Ian Riccavani, Alex Kozlov. Alex, I'm so happy to be here. You know, I've been to Ring of Honor. I've been to Impact. I've been to GCW, but there's nothing like New Japan Strong. And I'm here, and you're here. We're here for the New Beginnings Tour. Yeah, cool. Yeah, I, I've never, I mean, I don't know. I've never heard of you. I've heard of the promotions, but uh, it's nice to meet you. Just another fellow. Well, nice to meet you as well, Alex. I'm a big fan of yours because oh, you. I've been watching every episode of New Japan Strong, and, and today's episode has a real hometown flavor. We're here in Seattle, Washington, and in our main event, it's a true grudge match as Clark Connors, the Wild Rhino, takes on TJP, a match several years in the making. So yeah, obviously there's a lot of history between Clark Connors and TJP. They faced off against each other for the first time in 2017 here in Washington. And so who would have imagined where things would go. Now TJP being part of the United Empire and Clark Connors looking for retribution. This is gonna be good. Should be a heck of a match. In our feature match, a tag team bout, we'll see another homecoming as the West Coast Wrecking Crew, Jarrell Nelson, teaming with Royce Isaacs, takes on the team of Rocky Romero and Leo Rush. Ian, I know you're new here, but the West Coast Wrecking Crew is part of Team Filthy, the most dominant faction on Strong. They are dominant, they have the championship in hand, and if they were tag team titles, you gotta think West Coast Wrecking Crew would be right there competing for those. Of course, our main event, that grudge match, we talked about it five years in the making, former tag team partners exploding at the seams. Clark Connors coming home to take on TJP. But first, our opening contest, Yuya Yuramura taking on Brody King should be a big test for this young man. And by big, I mean big, bad Brody King. Tonight's opening matchup is scheduled for one fall with a 15 minute time limit. Welcome everybody to Seattle, Washington, Washington home. Ian Riccoboni, Alex Kozlov coming at you. We're kicking off New Beginning USA Tour here on New Japan Strong. We want to thank you so much for joining us. And Alex, I've had my eye on this young man ever since he stepped into the ring, not afraid to take on top names like Okada, like like Shingo Takagi, Tanahashi. Coming out of the red corner, representing the New Japan LA Tokyo. Measuring 180 centimeters, 90 kilograms, Yuya Uramura. Yuya is a big match fighter. He's not afraid to, to fight over his experience level. And that's the kind of development path he's on. I love it. Yeah, no, he's a, a fan favorite. Such an exciting young man he can't he made his appearance at resurgence where he announced that he is on his excursion and he, he he wants to you know get his experience here he's but the thing is what he has in front of him right now it, is a, <laughs> a guy who's firing on all cylinders alex whether you look at the billboard charts the netflix charts oh, right. or the television charts that's right this man is a multi-media star at this point. Yeah. The front man of God's hate with a Billboard charting album. The, one of the stars that I think you should leave on Netflix. And now, part of the House of Black. Fighting out of the blue corner, representing House of Black and Five Minutes Unlimited. Measuring 200 centimeters, 136 kilograms, Brody King. So many irons in the fire, but is excelling at all of them right now. No doubt about it. As exciting, as awesome as Yuya Yomura, Brody King may just welcome him to his personal hell tonight. What a confrontation this is going to be here tonight. Kicking things off here in the New Beginning USA Tour. 
Of course, this is our opening contest, our main event, TJP Clark Connors, huge grudge match. Five years in the making. Yeah, I can't wait for that one. See a nice collar and elbow tie up here. It's going to be difficult to move a man the size of Brody King. That's the thing. I don't think Yuya is strong. I don't think he's going to be able to pick up all that weight. He's going to have to go to the legs. Use uh, Brody King's momentum against himself. Move out of the way. He's going to have to be quicker. When Brody King was in ROH and Ring of Honor, he was a man whose record was among the best in the company. He main evented Final Battle, which is the flagship pay-per-view for Ring of Honor. He, he dispatched a former world champions in under 10 minutes regularly. Had huge brawls with, with guys like Shane Taylor, Flamita. And now going to AEW and, and here in New Japan Strong. Wherever he goes, he is he's menacing and just a force to be reckoned with. And then look wow. at that. Just hanging on. That's a tight, tight headlock. He's putting pressure on that temple. Not a very comfortable position to be in. And Yuya is trying desperately to push him off, but Roder King here taking him over with a headlock takedown. Using his size to his advantage there. Bridge going for the cover. Now mounting wow. Yuya. Well, he, he spared him on this one. He didn't spare his uh, l last opponent at Nemesis. No. Look at that. Yuya is almost challenging Brody. And, and Brody is not afraid to throw hands and flick oh, no. violence. You know, whether it was his wars with the Briscoes in Ring of Honor, whether it was those battles with and against PCO. I mean, he he was so close to beating Tomohiro Ishii. Oh, and shoulder to the shoulder, nobody moves. And look at the fire out of Yuya here. You either got to be really strong or really crazy to go shoulder to shoulder with Brody King. He's more crazy. Giving up a good six inches. Probably close to 50 to 75 pounds. Nice drop down, leap from wow. over the towering Brody oh. King and nobody home. Oh, there you go. Using his speed to his advantage here. There you go. Elbow plants him down. Look for cover. Lateral press gets a zero. That gets a zero, but look, he, he gained a, a valuable lesson here. He, he was able to take Brody King down. He didn't take him down, but he moved out of the way, and Brody was down. And that, that's where he needs to focus on. And these shots to the jaw. Brody King creating some space here, some separation, trying to compose himself. But it's Yuya coming right back at him. Got to respect the fire here. And looking for body shots. And oh. Yuya sent down. Oh! Collapsing Yumura to just a two count there. Not only did he take that ferocious Santon, but just that pin in itself is a difficult thing to kick out of. All that weight, the amount of energy you got to expend to kick out. We talked about Violence Unlimited. We want to wish Chris Dickinson a continued well recovery. Oh, jeez. Let's wish Yuya. A speedy recovery Rick. after that one. Might want to get an x-ray after that. No doubt. I'll see another one. No, no, we, we, you, you made your point, Brody. You made, oh, oh God. I don't know, I think three's the lucky charm. <laughs> like, uh, three's a good number. I, what do you think? I think Brody can, can hit the Gonzo bomb and try and finish this off. Oh my goodness. Sending him to the outside. Brody is about violence. Let's, let's give the fans what they came here to see, violence. As our colleague Kevin Kelly says, let the violence begin. Oh, he has begun. <laughs> I think, yeah, you're right. We are, we are beyond the beginning stages of violence. And I hope it will continue. Oh, oh God. Five. That hard, unforgiving Six. fence. And fans, if he, if he goes over the railing, you don't get to keep him. 
You gotta, kind of like basketball, you gotta throw them back. If they kept them, that would be a save. Yeah, that would that would be probably saving them from additional violence. As we get to 15 on the 20 count. Going for a cover, hooks the leg, two. You know, an interesting side effect over Brody King competing in Ring of Honor. I don't know if you notice how tight that cover was, the, the move toward peer wrestling in Ring of Honor. Brody has now incorporated tighter covers, tighter submissions, a lot of hand to wrist grips. Which makes him so much more dangerous. Absolutely. You, you, when you have a technical, violent, oh. big, huge man like this, my God. Big body slam. And it's King near 300 oh. pounds. Cover, two. Two count there. Just doing whatever he wants right now at this point. He's not letting Yuya breathe at all. Look at the, the crank on that neck. The neck vice. Oh, trapping the arm into oh. an eastern oh. stretch. God. And that sound, fans. Cover one, two, three. Ooh, it's the hollow chest cavity. You know, Yuya, as long as he's got any wits in him, he will keep fighting, even if it's against his own good. And at this point, I think it's safe to say it's against his own good, Alex. No doubt about it. It speaks to the heart and what it takes to be a young lion. We know he's now on excursion. We know that he is trying to find his footing here in America. Ooh. Oh. And the forearm delivers, but Yuramura coming back with three of his own. Ducks the there right. And King, those massive oh. hands. Off the ropes. Oh! Impressively taking Brody King off his feet with that drop kick. Brody was coming in with momentum, and he was met with two feet in the face. We'll never know what he was going for because Yuya Yuramura took that out of the equation, erasing all the variables with the drop kick, and now back to his feet, forearms. Looking for an Irish whip, countered off the ropes. Forearm delivers on King. I don't know that Brody's left his feet yet. Oh, big drop kick. Yumura, oh, will he? Looking for Saito suplex. I mean, Brody King, you can see he slowed down a little bit after taking some offense from Yuya. Forearm delivers. Oh, wow. Across the jaw, it's King. Ooh. Fighting back, double chop into Guri. And this Will he? Are you? Oh my! Oh! Plants him with the side of Super Killer! Upset City! Oh, just a two cap there. I was gonna say that that's a backbreaker, but not on Brody King. <laughs> that it would break the back of Yuya or just any ordinary man who would try to pick up so much weight. But it's that fire, it's that spark. Very, very well conditioned is Yuya to be able to do such a thing. Oh, has the arm trapped inside Butterfly. Oh! And just using that massive skull Ooh. and putting the squeeze on Yuya. And every time he moves, the oxygen gets, gets tighter and oh. tighter. Just dumps him. Oh, no, I Alex, you and time. I, yeah, we both know. Oh, maybe, oh! maybe not, a snap pile driver. Changing the repertoire up, two. <laughs> wow. Just a two count. 10 minutes have gone by, 10 minutes. And normally when he gets you in that position, he goes for the Gonzo Bomb, which is what he may be looking for at this point. If Yuya 
The pile driver wasn't enough. You might as well go with what got you to the dance. Oh, oh, escapes the Gonzo bomb. Going for the backslide. One, One two, oh. Just a two count there. And Yuya inside cradle. One, two. Two count again. And he's knocking on the door right now. Incredible fortitude shown by Yuya Uemura. Off the oh, ropes. oh, God. Wait a minute. Oh, caught him. Caught him. And looking to get into the submission here. Go he for does. the arm bar. Full extension. Grapples him into an arm bar. Brody King is in trouble. And trying to twist the hips. But the way Yuya's positioned is perfect. It's, it's trapping his body. And he's got the leg now, too. Got the massive tree trunk leg of Brody King, and he has to go to the ropes. Wow. This has been the most danger that he's put Brody King into. And King looks in trouble now. I'm not going to mince words. Yuya. Can you imagine a victory over Brody King? What that would do for the career of Yuri Yomura? And look at it again for that inside suplex. Oh! oh. It would catapult him on his excursion. It would open a lot of eyes. Oh, oh. but a forearm like that might close them. Yuya delivering now across the jaw with the forearm. Oh, oh, Brody King. Big, bad Brody King connects. And that's the arm, though, that was trapped earlier. For every three from Yuya, it, it takes only one for King to return volley. And there's about eight from Yuya. Off the ropes. Ducks the right. Oh! Oh, and thank you for playing Yuya Uramura as his oh. Gonzo bomb. Good night, good luck. Brody King is your victor. It would have taken a perfect match and then some to, de Brody King. to defeat Brody King here tonight, Alex. And Yuya almost wrestled a perfect match, but the violence, the, the strength was just a little bit too much for him. Certainly was. A great bout, tremendous victory for Brody King. Incredible effort here by Yuya Uemura. But his career just may have gotten shortened a little bit. I think anybody who faces the monster, that is Brody King, you pay a heavy price. The experience he gained in this match, though, Yuya Uemura's journey here on New Japan Strong, I believe is just beginning. I think one day he'll look back on this bout as a launching point. Coming so close to defeating Brody King. And it's just time and experience at this point before Yuya Yuramura stakes his own claim to victory here on Strong. Our second match of the night is scheduled for one fall with a 20-minute time limit. Well, as the new beginning USA Tour rolls along in 2022, Team Filthy looks to continue the success and the ground made in 2021.
perhaps the best team in New Japan, Strong Alex. On the left, Royce Isaacs. On the right, Jarrell Nelson. And of course, the minute I say that, they switch faces. Uh, well, look, these two right here, they're like a well-oiled machine. They are the West Coast Wrecking Crew. And ever since joining Team Filthy, Team Filthy has been on the first, fighting out in the blue corner. 183 centimeters, 98 kilograms, Jarrell Nelson. 183 centimeters, 105 kilograms, Royce Isaacs. Collectively, they are the West Coast Wrecking Crew. And, and I see this as a big test for the West Coast Wrecking Crew. Many of their matches, all wins, mind you, have been against teams looking to get to the next level. I don't know that they've faced a team that has the experience of Rocky Romero and the innovative offense of Leo Rush. It's going to be a great test for the West Coast Wrecking Crew, as now just getting in the face of Nick Bonanno. Big opportunity for both teams, no less. And I wonder, as we... As as we hear a song that you can hear on Spotify, on Apple Music, from Rocky Romero. That if this match wasn't signed because Black Tiger has been in the head of Rocky Romero. Wow, okay, I'm sorry, I was just in a trance. I was watching Rocky's new track. I was watching that video on the time front. I gotta be, I'm impressed. I mean, he's quite a musician. He's become quite a musician. Sometimes that has distracted him from his bread and butter, which is wrestling. He re you know, he came back, he refocused himself, brought back the Black Tiger mask, right? He's been refocused. And then Team Filthy brought back the eighth incarnation of Black Tiger. Who is under that mask? We don't know. But that's something that Rocky oh. he needs to watch his back. Their opponents fighting out of the red corner, Leo Rush and Rocky Romero. But there's something poignant in that new track we heard from Rocky Romero. There was a line about the twilight of his prime. That is the urgency with which Rocky Romero is fighting right now as Isaacs throws the jacket to the outside. Rocky, like you said, looking for inspiration from that black tiger mask. He wants the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Championship to say Rocky Romero. He's won it as Black Tiger, but he feels like his legacy is not complete until his name is right there on the title. Or perhaps he can take inspiration from the new Black Tiger. Yeah, who, you said you have the inside track on, on not only who's gonna answer the US of J, open challenge, but you have the inside track allegedly on, on Black Tiger as well? I tell you, I really have no idea. If you want answers, you should ask Tom Lawler. Ask Team Filthy. And look at the strength here of Royce Isaacs. Wow. One of the strongest men. Oh, no, on the outside. Oh, my God. And we're, wow. We are dueling now. Isaacs and Nelson. Oh, oh God. God. Jarrell Nelson dropping Leo Rush face first on the outside. Well, Jarrell, well, Isaac's dropping Rocky in the middle of the ring. Take pictures. Take pictures of this. Goodness. You know, maybe if I look that, I might pose like that too. I of, don't course. Know that of course. Yeah, that's great. Cover one. Just a one count there. Well, a great start for the West Coast Wrecking Crew. The, the cheap shot, I'll, let's make that clear. Was, there was a cheap shot, they attacked Rocky and Leo before the match started. I, I just want the record to show that at this point. I mean, look, those things are less important. You know, what's important is the present moment. And the present moment, the West Coast Wrecking Crew are working really well together, wearing Rocky Romero down here. And a tag made, Nelson to Isaacs. Great tag team. You got to think if there's ever tag team championships added here and strong, that they would be first in line. They had great success in the, in the tag team tournaments here in New Japan Strong. But they're in there with a guy, one of the very few men to hold championships in CMLL, Ring of Honor, and New Japan. And Christopher Daniels, Matt Taven, and Tama Tonga have done that. Along with Rocky Romero, who's getting oh. Oh. All right, well, there's the receipt for uh, the earlier cheap shot. The king of sneaky style going to the eyes there. 
Oh, oh God. Man. And Rocky might have to hang on for as long as, we, as he can. Every once in a while, we get a, a view of Leo Rush, who is still recovering, as you see in the top left. Yeah, he took a hard bump on the outside. And what's it like being in there, Alex, when you know your partner has really, is really worse for the wear? See a cover. If I'm facing a guy with the build and the strength of uh, Royce Isaacs, you know, I, I, I have to defend myself. I have to move out of the way. I have to be uh, very smart in my execution. Oh, and here's the great tag team combination. Oh. Continuity. Oh, nobody home. And Rocky, double runner. How about that? He gets two for the price of one. He needs a tag right now, but there's nobody in the red corner. Leo, who's recovering, who got knocked off the apron. We're gonna make a oh. tag. Oh, God. Great awareness by Isaacs. Knocking Leo Rush back to the outside. Regaining control of Rocky Romero. And Isaacs with a shot under the jaw. Looking to make a tag. Instead, inflicting damage. Banano trying to get control. And, and what, what in the world is Jarrell Nelson doing? Well, I mean, I think he's trying to fix that turnbuckle. I don't think it was, uh, it, it does not seem oh, secure. He, he, didn't, he didn't think it was on correctly? Clearly, I mean, look at it. I thought maybe he wanted a souvenir. Great NJPW collection, blue corner. That would be a hell of a collector's item, no doubt about it. But right now, the West Coast Wrecking Crew have the opportunity to use that corner as a weapon. They weaponize their home corner. Which, as much as I don't like bending the rules and breaking the rules. Look, I mean, it's Team Filthy. They make up their own rules. Oh, and he's got it Toroyano style here. Well, uh... Nick here is uh, threatening Jarrell Nelson with a disqualification, but he's really getting involved here. Yeah, good good for Banana. Oh, and now swinging at Leo Rush in the corner. And Rocky's in the red corner, but between he and Leo Rush, it is Isaacs. Oh, man, that was close. Oh, big back elbow. And now Rocky firing up. Your former tag team partner, Alex. Oh! Spikes him with a DDT off the top. Five minutes of the half. Five minutes. Buy himself some time and to can get he, to Leo Rush. Can he find the red corner here? And he does. He there you go. Tag. Leo Rush, Jarrell Nelson. Oh, my God. Leo Rush is so quick. He's probably the fastest wrestler on our roster. Very hard to catch him. You can't blink when you're watching Leo Rush. Wow, you see how fast he got out of the way. Oh, swatting him away, but it's Seth Rush, the great amateur wrestler, popping up. Oh! Connecting with a big kick. Oh my God. To think that that man was uh, considering retirement, that would be such a loss for the wrestling business. Absolutely. We didn't even get to talk about it on the way in. Oh my God. The man that was responsible for bringing him back as his tag team partner, he reached out and said, you're too young, you're too good. Wow! Froggy high cross body, and oh! Two and seven eighths. And it's the bond between Romero and Rush that has brought Rush back, that has seen Rush not only succeed in New Japan Strong, but AEW. To see him continue his career. It's certainly a treat for all the fans. A very, very exciting wrestler to watch. So gifted. I met Leo when he was a teenager, when he broke in and he won the top prospect tournament in Ring of Honor. From there, from that day. Oh! Wait a minute, how old are you? Oh, geez, just turned 35. I mean, you look like you're in your, I don't know, you look like you're, you're in your early teens. Oh, thank you. And Leo Rush, swing and caught. Lands on his feet. Sure does. Oh, oh, man, how about that? Double knees up through the chest. And with a guy like Nelson, who's so strong, so powerful. He's got some weight on him, too. Sure does. All that momentum with the knees in that corner. Fracture turn him that way very easily. And you could. And the inertia into the white buckle there is now, it is Isaacs, the legal man. We know they love this tag team combination. Pops him up. Oh, oh. counter! It's countered into Hurricane Rana. And 
Leo. Oh, Isaacs stops himself before he gets to Nelson. Oh! Oh, Liger style double heels. Oh! Wow! Forces him to go up, and he follows through with a kick. And now a tag made into Rocky Romero. I know what's coming. I know what's coming. The forever clotheslines. Every time I tried to get in on one of those, I couldn't. I, I couldn't. I just couldn't. Rocky would not give way. Well, he looks. Wait. Well, let the heel wait him. Come. On. You know. And this you, is. And I, you, and you guys were junior tag champs, Ring of Honor tag champs. This really pisses me off. <laughs> I mean, looks like he's got a new bet. Oh no! But he led Leo. Good. Led the lamb to slaughter there. Rocky caught in between the West Coast Wrecking Crew here. He's fighting them right now, but he's got to be careful. Going for the reverse kick, Lynn! Oh! The rewind catches Isaacs there. They were sliced bread. Oh, just too strong. Oh, watch out. Oh! Sends him down. This might be it. Catches him with a knee. German has the bridge. One, two. Wow, Rocky barely kicking out. Lifting that shoulder. 2.9. Not much separation between Banano's hands and a three count there. And here they go. This time the power bomb connects on Rocky. And this great combination we've seen before on Strong. Oh, beautiful. Gotta be it. Two. And Leo Rush out of nowhere. Where did he come from? My God. That was supposed to be a three count. And I think it would have been. I don't, with all due respect to Rocky, I don't know that he was kicking out if it wasn't for Leo breaking up the count there. As Rush sends Nelson to the outside. Inside out, Leo Rush to the floor. Now it's Isaacs and Rocket, the legal man in the middle of that ring. Oh, wait a minute, he's going for it. Gets with the crucifix, too. Catches him with the arm. Backslide, two. And Rocky's frustrated, Isaacs. Yeah, he's got a counter for everything right now. Oh! Oh, no. Caught him in the jaw. Man, that, that was rough. Rocky may not know where he is. Oh! Oh no! I guess he did. That corner! He's got the arm bar! Diablo Full extension! No, 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 no! Oh, look at that. He's trying to, to, to not let it hyperextend. He's trying to bend him. That's right. He needs to grab his other wrist. Oh, but he turns it into a triangle. Oh no! He's turning it into a triangle choke here. But Isaacs is too strong. Look at that. Oh, 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 oh. Curling him up in the air. But wait a minute. Leo Rush. Oh, and he plants him down. Wow. And there no. it is. Diablo Armour. Oh, and that's it. Here are your winners. At 10 minutes and 52 seconds, the team of Rocky Romero and Leo Rush. West Coast Wrecking Crew. The moment in the match for me that cost them the bout, Alex, was the exposed turnbuckle. That's right. Rocky, Rocky Romero cheated. Cheated. Got the advantage. Your winners, Leo Rush and You're Rocky Romero. You said Royce Isaacs in an exposed. You course. said that was fair game. I never said it was fair game. I was just saying that it was, the turnbuckle was loose. That's, oh, wait a minute. Oh, God. Rocky. Who was calling out Black Tiger? Is, is that what I think? Is that Black Tiger's cane? That is the very same candlestick that Black Tiger used when he made an appearance. And we were wondering if he's here. Well, I mean, and, and New Japan officials told him that if he interfered in this bout, that there would be fine suspensions, his licenses revoked. Oh, God. oh man! Well, but maybe he's not here physically, but he's here in spirit. And this vicious attack. The West Coast Wrecking Crew, a, a very frustrating loss, but there's no reason to continue the bidding of Black Tiger. Give us one more, Isaacs. One more. Let's get another one in. Uh, no, no more. 
They spare, they're, they're sparing him. That one was for you, Black Tiger. We got your back. And there you see Nelson. I hope you're proud of yourself, Team Filthy. I hope you did exactly what Black Tiger wanted to do. This is going to motivate Rocky even more. When he and Black Tiger finally lace it up in a New Japan ring. Well, that day will come. But for now, Rocky just needs to try to get back on his own two feet if he can. The road may be long to get Rocky to Black Tiger, but it will be worth it and vengeance will be had. I can guarantee it. Fans, a huge tag team main event on tap for next week. Revenge and retribution on the minds of my guest, Finjuice. Retribution is on our minds, Ian. You see, we've got a score to settle with Jonah. Seems like anytime you or I in a ring, he's got to come and bring his big ass out and stick his nose in our business. It's real simple, Jonah, real, real simple. You're gonna get the two best tag team wrestlers going right now, coming at your big ass. There ain't gonna be any bullying. There ain't gonna be kicking us when we're down. There ain't gonna be Tito latched onto my leg so then you can get the advantage. Uh-uh, two on two. You wanna go top dog? You bring your big ass because we're gonna bring the ass kicking to your big ass, Jonah Rock. Huge tag team main event next week, Finn Juice, Bad Dude, Tito, and Jonah. Shop Global. We ship worldwide. Why, buddy? You finished those Okada orders yet? Yeah, with the new Team Filthy shirt, Papi. Genius. Eso, mi gente. The stars of today and the legends of the past come together on your smartphone. NJPW Collection. Pick up cards from special draft events. Use your collected cards to form your own faction or exchange them for limited edition special cards. Check in live from venues or remotely from home to get special tickets and items. Add all of New Japan Pro Wrestling to your collection now. NJPW Collection. of L.A. Dojo, the original TJP, to the new version, Clark Connors. He's moments away from tapping. He's only a foot away from the ring. Oh. Wait a minute, He's sitting back down to oh. Got it! Clark Connors has just beaten TJP to advance to the New Japan Cup USA Tournament. TJP's grief is not with Mark at all. He's disappointed in the referee, disappointed in himself for being in that situation. 
TJP is now legal. Carl Anderson still legal. A little bit of a miscommunication there, spine buster. And now they've got TJP isolated. Picking him up for the magic killer. There it is. Magic killer. And just like that, the Good Brothers win and advance. Now these are the games that count. And I've been saying the games that count, we have to make it count. The games right? that count? Yes. Well, you're the, the games one who that just count. lost, man. Okay. Up and Watch out. Down. Just dump some on his back. Mama Splash! When you have the hammer, you gotta use it. And me and TJ are coming for everybody. Doesn't matter who it is. It's like, hey, you did a good job. Uh, you did a good on. job. You just didn't get the job done. What the hell was that? And there it is, Carl Connors. The captain just speared Will Osprey, making the save here for Carl Fredericks. Connors has seen enough. TJP out here as well. It looks like the odds aren't exactly in my favor right now. Or maybe I just even up the odds. The torque that injured leg being bent across that steel turnbuckle in the corner. And like an old Dude. spear! And the spear from Connors into the cover on TJP. Oh, and, oh my god. He's got nope. him in that. Clark Connors moves out of the way, rolls him up there. Oh my god, back and forth it goes. TJP rolls out of the edge. Got Two the ropes, so come on. The referee did not see it. TJP holding on to the ropes on that. Wild Rhino so intense, oh, oh my, god. my god, speared him all the way through the ring. Now wait a minute now, look at Osprey grabbing a hold. There you go. Clark Connors leg and now taking advantage, TJP stomping right through the hyperextended leg of Clark Connors. You can have any rematch you want, because guess what, it's gonna be the same result. It's gonna be the same result. Banged up my knee, banged up my shoulder, it does not matter. I'm gonna come in with the whole ass. Tonight's main event he is scheduled for one fall with a 30 minute time limit. And what a main event. The stage is set here. New beginning USA. You know, Alex, this is just night one of the tour. But I feel like with the stakes involved, this could be the main event of the entire tour. No doubt about it. What a, what a story. What a story TJP has had with Clark Connor. The very first time that they met each other was here in Washington in, what, 2017 as opponents. It's incredible how life finds a way of coming back to the things that anchor Introducing us. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, representing United Empire, measuring 178 centimeters, 79 kilograms, public enemy, TJP. That's right. He is the public enemy. The fans have turned his back on TJB because they they can't understand his decisions. He, he turned his back on the LA Dojo. Sure, they don't understand why he did that. They just judge. They think that oh, what a what a what an awful human being. Well, TJP, of course, in the inaugural LA Dojo system, and there is some tension. He took his opponent under his wing. They formed a very formidable tag team. They competed in 23 tag team matches together. But if there was an MVP of New Japan Strong, I would pick this man who's competed in more matches than anybody in New Japan Strong. But Dude. Perhaps none bigger than here tonight. Dude, Clark Connors, you know, this name that they gave him, the Wild Rhino, I mean, look at him. So fitting. I mean, he is so intense. And he's been just dying, just beating to get his hands on TJP, to get this revenge. You know? His opponent fighting out of the red corner, representing the new Japan Pro Wrestling LA Dojo. Measuring 173 centimeters, 92 kilograms, the Wild Rhino, Clark Connor! Seattle's own Clark Connors. That's right. It's a homecoming for him. 
But look, it's TJP. It is the great Theodore. The great Theodore? Are you sure? It's, it, it, don't you mean Theodore? It, look, we're, we're, we're across the street from Canada. Oh, you know, so they say Theodore. It is the great Theodore. You know, and he, with 22 years in the business and now part of United Empire, he's living up to his full potential. And you also got to ask if Clark Connors, what is his knee like? You know, has he recovered from his injury, which TJP has exploited in the past? And we got to know, we got to wonder about the cardiovascular. You know, Clark was out with COVID-19, and, and we know that he recovered well. But what we don't know is, is how much cardiovascular training. That's one of his calling cards is his bread and butter. He can hang with the best of them, mostly because that gas tank is so big. That's right. He, he has very explosive energy. He's got those fast twitch muscles working at maximum. And TJP wants a clean break. And come on, you want a clean break, you got to give a clean break in return here. Well, look, Clark was crowding him. Give a man some space. What's interesting about these two men, their careers have become symmetrical in a lot of ways. The first time they wrestled one another, to my count, was here in this building in 2019 Super J Cup. They met each other in this building in 2017. I mean, it's, I think life has a way of, of bringing people back to center, back to, back to the same spots. And after five years, we're seeing the culmination of what looked like a great tag team, a great relationship forming. It's ending in a grudge match here. Who would have thought? And has the leg grapevine. Oh, this is not a good predicament for, oh, oh my God. Shades of the great Muda. And if there is any remnants of injury on that knee, this is not helping matters. And, and do you think this is to get inside the head of Clark Connors? When you're at the dojo, I know one of the first moves they teach you as you become more advanced is the Muda lock, is to trap the legs like this. Is this trying to remind Clark Connors that, oh, wow, whoa. <laughs> yeah. he grabbed him like, like a rhino that hasn't eaten in months. Nice duck down, change, oh. change direction, but maybe not intentional, that knee going out. How about, how about that? See, uh, Clark Connors is known to switch directions so quickly at the last moment, but his knee just gave. Oh! Open hand chop there. Oh, vintage TJP. Clark can't even stand on his feet right now. Oh. Wait a minute. And Wait a minute. Charging in. What, what, what was, was that all about? Was he playing possum, do you think? Yeah, he certainly oh, was. Come on. I like it. I mean, if you. If TJP is not, oh, oh, wait a minute. Now, he's, he's either really playing possum or, or he might not be doing the smartest thing right here. Oh. I mean, it appears as though he's fully recovered from his injury. Cowardly, in my opinion. Cow what? Takes a lot of guts to put yourself in a match. Oh, boy! What a sky high German! Plants him down! My goodness. Takes a lot of guts and physical acumen to get in the ring with a guy like TJP. Especially. Oh! oh. Again! He almost touched the lights! I think he's trying to throw him over the rope to the outside. He's <laughs> trying to finish the great Theodore. Like the great Seattle artist Jimi Hendrix once said, excuse me while I kiss the sky. Oh, TJP almost kissed the lights there. See an Irish whip? Oh. Okay, good, 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 good. Good, uh, good awareness, you know, rolling out of the way, taking a little breather. Uh, you don't go to CMLL, you don't become a WWE Cruiserweight Champion. Oh, oh, oh God! He just jumped TJP. Oh my goodness. Onto the timekeeper's table. You, I don't think I've seen anything like that. Just when TJP was trying to take a little breather just to recenter himself, there was the wild rhino. Just, just threw him over the barricade, over that table. 
and able to duck down with those legs and use his shoulder like a rhinoceros's horn to hook him and dump him up and over like crashing through that table. And it's Connors now into, in control here. Five minutes have passed. Five minutes have passed. Connects, and I'm being told that even though we heard the five minute call, oh, we will stay with this grudge match as long as it takes here. Cover two on njpwworld.com. Five minutes have passed, and the kind of action we have seen already. And this is something that Clark Connors has been waiting to do. And we've had a lot of questions answered. The cardiovascular acumen of Connors looks like it's there, the knee looks like it's back. And the deceiving tactics, the devious tactics of TJP are certainly always a, a force. I don't think there's anything deceiving about that. That's his experience. Oh, God! Oh, man. Single arm DDT. On that unforgiving hard apron. And that might have popped the shoulder out of its socket, Alex. One. Maybe we don't have to worry about his Two. knee, but now. Three. I mean, his shoulder, his arm could be compromised. Four. And, and that's the Five. shoulder he drives through on the spears right. with, Six. on the pounces with. That's the shoulder that lifted Seven. TJP up and over the barricade and almost through the table. So if he can neutralize that shoulder, or at least get inside the mind of Connors, that's gonna take a lot of Connors' offense away. Oh, look at how quick, look at how smooth. TJP! Beautiful. Lateral press, two. And do you think TJP was caught off guard here, Alex, by the way Clark came out swinging? No doubt about it. I mean, I mean, he he had us all fooled. Clearly, he's re recovered from his injury. A very veteran move to insinuate that that knee might not be fully recovered. As the outside in sent on lateral press cover. One count there. But look, the Prince of the Philippines is in firm control right now. Yeah, the Phil and Flash able to trap that arm. Now just put in Connors wherever he wants him. The damage done now to the shoulder. Look at the way that he puts pressure on that arm, pushing over his knee. Stepping look over. At that. Trapping into the chin lock. And if you're Connors, what kind of minute, what kind of movement are you looking to do to try and get out see, of it? See, this is the thing. Like whichever way you turn, like, you may uh, hurt yourself even more. That he was able to fight out of it. And went back to the vertical base, but a CJP was maintaining that wrist control. Oh, oh look at that! Oh my God, this is flawless, oh! flawless TJP right here. That's perfection. Spinning hammer lock and then driving that opposing shoulder down. And with such force. If this was any ordinary man, that shoulder would be out of its socket. I love TJP's game plan right now. Once he figured out and once Clark showed his hand, maybe a little too early, that the knee was not as damaged as he anticipated, right away TJP clicks it into gear, goes for that shoulder. I think we're gonna see a little bit of we're gonna clean that dirty face. Oh, come on. I don't agree with this move. Oh, come on. He's defenseless in the corner. Jeremy Marcus, you gotta get in there. Wait oh, a minute. Wait. Oh! oh! This is the explosive energy that we've been talking about. But that, I think that shoulder tackle also hurt Clark Connors. Clark's gotta be careful. You're absolutely right because the impact shoulder to shoulder, it's its hanging. You can tell it's just hanging there, Alex. And even if that knee, I'm still not convinced that knee's 100% because even if Clark thinks it is that as a severe knee injury, he's gotta be careful he doesn't end up with two targets. As he fires in, Irish moving to the corner, charging oh. in. 
shoulders out of the midsection. Just driving the air out of the lungs of TJP. Whoa! Plants him in the center. Ten minutes have gone by. Ten minutes. Spinning elbow drop. Hooks the leg cover. Two and just a two count there. We're seeing a game of chess unfold here. And look, even though Clark Connors has the home advantage, going to finish CJP, but he lands behind. Big back elbow, off the ropes. It's TJP oh. with the misdirection this time. And out of the corner, spring. Oh, oh my God. Single arm DDT from the top. That is a lot of weight, a lot of momentum coming down on that shoulder. Look, even though Clark has the home court advantage, you know, He's got a lot of pressures weighing on him to get the victory here in his hometown. And now trying to claw back up, but it's TJP back to his feet first. Oh, oh God. my God. Beautiful. Let's get that face cleaned up. Former WWE Cruiserweight Champion, two-time Impact X Division Champion, and a man who's on the doorstep, the precipice of winning our main event. Oh, oh TJP. how about that? Look at that. Look for the cross arm breaker. Oh, oh God. he's got full extension on that. And Connors has to find the ropes. He's trapped. Oh, how about that? He's scissoring the legs of TJP, able to turn him over. Great counter into the full Nelson. How about this? Full Nelson clutch here. Wow, and he's got that in real tight. If he can get the fingers locked, it's gonna be it. And TJP looking for the ropes. He's, there you go. And so it, close. And that may have taken a lot out of Connors though too, to have to hold him up to apply the pressure. It's a lot of upward force on that front deltoid. Oh, oh my God. Lord. Spears him through that rope. And this has become, as expected, an absolute war. But it may be a war of attrition at this point. It may come down to the last man that could get to their feet first. And right now, that's the Rhino, Clark Connors. TJP on the apron here. He's in no man's land, front face lock. Trying to get a little bit of leverage there on the bottom rope. Not able to hang on, that shoulder giving him trouble here. Has him up. Oh, oh God. Oh, there you go. Triangle choke in the ropes. I mean, this is the versatility of TJP. He can use any part of that ring as a weapon. Not afraid to bend the rules. And, and, and he's trapped. He is in trouble. He's perfectly centered on that ropes. Vicious knee drop off the top. And he's going all the way to the top. Maybe looking for the Mamba Splash here. Got it! Kobe calls game! Two! Oh, are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? I thought that was over. This is how TJP finishes most of his opponents with a Mamba Splash. You can count on one hand the amount of people that have been able to kick out of the Mamba Splash. Oh, oh, that's it. Him. That is it. What? what? Are you? Where? Where does Clark Connors get this inside of him? Kicks out of the Cobra Twist Driver, and now it's TJ. That's it. That's got to be it. Oh, not even a one Here, count. I, I am in disbelief of what I'm seeing. He just kicked out consecu consecutively off one. What is going on? What? What universe are we in? I'm just as shocked as you are. As Connors connects across the jaw. TJP with a counter, looking for a backslide here, has him, stacks him up, instead goes to the top. 
Oh, look at that. There you go. This is a move that TJP has created. Put so much pressure on that lower back while working those knees as well. And that great five minutes, 15 minutes. Putting all on. kinds of pressure, like you said. And oh. oh, and he's got the arm trapped. He's got that shoulder trapped. Just when Clark Connors was going to reach that rope, he was able to lock that arm. And he's got to fight. He's got to fight. Oh, oh, with all he's got. Has him up. No. Two. Trapped him there. Both men back to their feet. Oh, double close line. Both men down. And Ian, I am exhausted. This, this is nuts. What a match this has been. Both men leaving literally everything they have as the chance of Rhino are echoing through Washington Hall. Huge main event this week, delivering on every expectation, an all-out battle between two rivals who saw their friendship, their partnership disintegrate. And TJP countered, oh. countered. What is he looking to do? Oh, there's no way. Oh, we've seen this before. But TJP gets up on his feet. All the way to his feet here. And trying to get him back down. It's TJP now on the apron. Oh, oh God. Man. Going back to that already injured arm of Clark Connors. And Connors now trapped. And TJP can do almost whatever he wants at this point. And TJP, second rope on the inside. Fans rallying behind Clark, but it might be too little too late as TJP looking to end things right here. Going for a superplex with the shot to the obliques. And Connors with some separation. Oh, headbutt, headbutt delivers. And Connors looking to go upstairs. Express of his own. <laughs> From the LA Dojo sign right at the fall, and TJP drops him with a power bomb. Stacks him up. Two. Just oh. a two count. Just a two count. The war continues. Oh, TJP. Tell him he's number one. Oh. Power slam. What a war this is. Wait a minute, no! Oh, got him! No! Two, oh. trophy kill, and Clark Connor picks up the victory. At 18 minutes and 19 seconds, the winner by pitfall, the Wild Rhino, Clark Connor! What an incredible contest. And there's something to be said for avenging someone that has told you you couldn't do something, that you weren't good enough. And for someone who has turned Here your back on again, you. Here the Wild Rhino, Clark Connors. Who's lost faith in you. Here tonight, Clark Connors proved TJP wrong and put those words right back in his face, Alex. The Wild Rhino, your victor here tonight. Our main event of night one, the first night of the New Beginning USA Tour. Pants next week, a huge tag team encounter. Bad Dude Tito teaming with Jonah to take on Finn Juice. Also, we'll see Josh Barnett as Ren Marita steps up to the plate. But it's time to celebrate as Clark Connors wins an all-out war, leaving everything in the ring here, Alex. Wow. What a contest this was. If we can vote now, I'd say this is definitely a match of the year candidate, no doubt about it. These men threw everything at each other. For tonight, this victory is the biggest of Clark's career. And I know 
he'll be down downtown in the Space Needle celebrating with many of the folks who are here sharing in this monumental victory. What a great edition of New Beginning Tour for Alex Kozlov, Ami, and Rick Abani. Thanks for joining us. Happy wrestling. We'll see you next week. Tag Team Main Event.